another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well today in this video i will show you how to solve one of the premium problem meeting rooms so let's get started so the problem give us an array of meetings times interval consisting of start and end times and they ask us if the person can attend all the meeting so let's say we have two array each array has two value the first value is the time that the meeting start and the second value are the time that the meeting end so for example the meeting start at 7 a.m. and end at 7 a.m. and the second meeting start at 2 p.m. and end at 5 p.m. so in this example the person can attend the two meetings but what if we have the first meeting start at 9 and end at 6 p.m. and the second meeting start at 2 p.m. and end at 10 p.m. so here the person cannot attend the two meetings so this problem is referred as interval scheduling problem means when we have a period of time between two events and those two events interrupt each other so how do we gonna solve the problem so we're gonna use a gravy algorithm technique to check if either there is uh, any conflict between the two marine or the three meetings and we're gonna return false indicating that it is not possible to attend all of the meetings otherwise we will return true after iterating throughout the list of meetings indicating that it is possible to attend all of the meetings so let's say we have this input list of meeting times first we take all the meeting start time and put them inside one list and sort them and also we take all the meeting ends time and sort them in an ascending order then we're gonna iterate throughout the sorted list of the start time because we want to attend the meeting with earliest start times to check if we can attend the earliest meeting each at each iteration so we check if the start of the second meeting does not conflict with any previous or next meeting so here we have the start of the end of the first meeting at 3 p.m and the second meeting start at 2 p.m means we cannot attend the two meetings so we turn false so that's it guys uh i think I think it's an easy problem not not a hard problem so let's jump at coding the solution so first we create a two empty list start and end to start that to start the start and the end time of the meetings and we iterate over the intervals list with the for loop and for each iteration extract the start and end times of the current meeting from the sub array and append them to the start and end list After that, we sort the start and end list in ascending order. We iterate over the start list with another for loop. So for each iteration, we check if whether the start time of the next meeting is before the end time of the current meeting. If it's if it's if it if it's true, we return false, indicating that it is not possible to attend all of the meeting. If the loop complete without returning false, we return true at the end of the function to indicate that it is possible to attend all of the meeting. So the time complexity is of n log n because the function performs two main operations that have a time complexity of of n log n. First, we sort the start and the end list using the built-in sort function, and we iterate over the start list with a for loop. The iteration have a of n time complexity, and the sorting algorithm take of n log n. So in complexity analysis, we know that we drop the less significant terms, mean we drop the of n, and we keep of n. Log n. So the space complexity of the function is O of n because we create two lists start and end with the size of n to store the start and end times of the meetings. So that's it guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.